Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am, as you can tell, in a different setting, but it's going to be the same concept. We're going to do the same thing, stuffing my paycheck number two of May. And again, I need to go to the salon and get my nails done. I've been kind of like chipping at it, so disregard them. Um, they're kind of crusty, <laughs> all right? And as you all know, we always begin with counting our moolah. All right. Handy dandy calculator as always. I am stuffing a total of $13.75 this week. Let me just organize these. So the bigger bills are in the front just because it's easier to count that way. Okay. Let me know if you guys like this new background. Everyone in their neighborhood is cutting their grass today, so I had to kind of switch and get away um, from my usual recording area. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six hundred, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, four fifty. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 240, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 5, 10, 15, 13, 75, right on the dot. Let's start by Let's start by stuffing my fixed expense envelope. And for these, you guys know that I don't um, count these out. And whatever money I have left in here, I just roll it over. And you know, this always happens, so I think I'm just going to throw this little zip tie thing away. I'm sick of trying to put it back on and then it just falls off again. I'll leave it there for now. Okay, so utility is getting sixty dollars. One, two, three, that's sixty dollars. And I unstuff my fixed expenses at the end of the month. I usually pay everything either directly from my account or with my credit card. It's just easier that way. Um, that's what works for me. So you do whatever works for you. Water is getting $50, and because spring is finally here, I need to up my water cash stuffing because our sprinklers do turn on like maybe three times a week or two times a week, so that definitely takes up most of the bill. That's why my bill kind of doubles in the spring. The gym is getting $25. Car insurance is getting ten dollars. My cell phone is getting thirty dollars. Twenty thirty. Alright, moving over to my cash envelope binder. Grocery is getting two hundred dollars. So we have one hundred fifty seventy ninety. 200. I have an extra $50. I have an extra $50 in my wallet that is not in here. 
I had purchased some envelopes that can fit inside my wallet so I have grocery, household, personal, and eating out and sometimes I leave my money in there so I think I have forgotten but I know for sure I have $50 left for grocery and I did spend quite a bit for Mother's Day which I don't mind because it's just for my family and whatnot but this is why I love roll having rollover because I can account for money that is going elsewhere while I still have a buffer. Gas is getting $100 and I had already updated all my trackers so last time I had forgotten to update my trackers and that kind of like threw me off but we now have 100, 150, 170, 180, 185. Oh, maybe I didn't. Oh, yeah, it does look like I forgot to update some of the trackers. I'll go but I'll go back and do that off camera though. Oh. Eating out is getting $75. So we have 50, 70. Oh. Look at me trying to add an extra 10 in there. 50, 70, 75 for eating out. I notice that when I don't update my trackers like right before I record sometimes I forget to update all of them and my home is getting $50 I recently as you can see my binder my envelope here is empty I got a gorgeous mirror for my front entry I was kind of hesitant like what should I do so I had bought a console table off of Facebook market love Facebook market and it didn't really match, so I went to Home Goods and found a beautiful gold mirror, like a big, huge gold mirror. It's seven feet tall, 40 inches wide, and I just had to buy it, so that's why I used up all of my home fund, which I'm not complaining about because I love the mirror. It's not a square mirror, it's like, it's kind of like an arched mirror, like at the top it's kind of round. So, I have no money in there. Personal is getting $80. $80. And as you can see, I don't have anything less left in this envelope. Date night or better together is getting $30. Better together now has 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 200, 5, 10, 1, 2, 3, 213. And like I said, I don't usually pull from this envelope because like when me and my husband go out for date night, it's usually I'm pulling out from my eating out folder and he pays for half of or more than half of like all of our entertainment like if we go to the movies and stuff which I'm really grateful for um, that's why I still have money in this envelope okay moving on to my sinking fund binders the first off is I'm gonna do my low priority one low priority sinking fund binder vacation is getting $55 And you know I have to bring out my calculator because your girl is calculator dependent. Okay. So we have one, two, two fifty, three, three fifty, three fifty five, three sixty in vacation. Health is getting forty dollars. Health now has fifty one fifty twenty forty sixty eighty one twenty forty sixty. 
310 in health. Holiday is getting $40. And it looks like I'm going to have to make some change here. So I'm just going to take this 50 and then put, put a 10 back. Holiday now has 51, 150, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 35. Hell, Holiday now has 305. Let me grab a marker real quick here. So for my $1,000 savings challenge, it is getting $30. So let's do two 15s. I'll just do these two here. One, two. $30. Actually, I might make a change in here because of this binder is getting so bulky. Let me just put a 50. No, I'll just do this and make it easier. And as you guys know, I'm not counting this. Moving over to my high priority sinking fund binder. Emergency is getting $100. Emergency now has one, two, two fifty, three, three fifty, four, four fifty, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, one forty, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, forty five, fifty, six five, sixty, six five, seventy. 660 in emergency. Retirement is getting $50. Retirement now has 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 50, 5, 5, 50, 6, 6, 50. It's 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 810 dollars in retirement, baby is getting, let me move this a little bit up, baby is getting 50 dollars, baby now has one, oh. baby now has one, two, three, 350, 4, 455, 556, 657, 700, 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 850. Wedding or reception is getting hundred and fifty dollars so I'm just gonna take this 200 here and I'm gonna exchange it for a 50 these hundreds are so crisp I love it when the cash is crisp wedding now has one two three four five six seven 50 one 52 53 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 30, 1,130 dollars, 3 to 6 months is getting 100 dollars, and 36 months now have 
100, 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 280. Student loans is getting $50. This one is a little tricky. It's kind of hard for me to get all of the cash out in here. Let me turn it. Move this tray so I can get a better angle. Student loan now has 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. I don't like these ones here. I think I'm going to tape this and cut the side that's what I did with these other binders I mean these other envelopes if you if you can see it I like stuffing it from the front better okay and this is just an extra binder um, I pulled out all the money that I spent from my groceries my home just miscellaneous stuff that I need to pause back into the bank that is it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and hope you guys like the new background um, if you do like it, I'll probably end up keeping it. If not, I'll go back to my regular setting. Well, thank you so much and have a wonderful weekend. Bye everyone.